there are technical reasons, that I've gone over before, for why DLC characters can't come back into the main game, reference each other. That's separate from any narrative reasons why Christine and Veronica couldn't interact, though I should also say that I conceived Veronica's F, N, V plot arc before, separately from what Chris Avalon developed for Dead Money. I think Veronica is relatively happy, an important qualifier in setting where most things are miserable, and any tragedy in her ending slides has more to do with the state of the boss than her personal relationships. Most other companions don't speak of their romantic relationships. Arcade and Cassidy mention some in passing, but nothing in particular. Boone's wife is the source of a lot of personal anguish. You could make an argument that Boone's or Veronica's relationships are more tragic than the other, but both of them qualify as not good. Joshua Sawyer on Tumblr, Hi Josh. My question is about F, N, V and the DLC Dead Money, my favorite Tilda Ha. I have to admit, after meeting Christine and running as fast as I could to Veronica to explain my experience in that world, I was disheartened to only give her a holotape from her previous elder and not get a reaction from her about, who I assumed to be, her previous lover. Was there ever going to be a dialogue option about them? I guess I'm asking for closure, happy crying face. I cannot speak for Chris Avalone, who wrote and directed Dead Money, but I believe we were limited by time, scheduling. Veronica was written and recorded for the base New Vegas game with, IIRC, only a few hooks for Dead Money. I think reactions to Dead Money content itself would have required a more comprehensive level of, way, advanced planning, i.e., we would have needed to know exactly what Veronica was reacting to in Dead Money at the time that we recorded her for New Vegas. Either that or we would have needed to book Felicia Day for more studio time during the development of Dead Money. That can also be difficult and expensive, especially since voice actors and studio time are generally booked in multiple hour blocks. It's difficult to justify if the character is only saying two or three new lines. It also gets a little messy when trying to decide where to draw the line. I think a lot of people would love to see some resolution between Christine and Veronica, but what about Caesar responding to the events of Honest Hearts? I wrote Joshua Graham and directed Honest Hearts, so I can speak more definitively to that. The limited reactivity Caesar could have about J.G. H.H. wouldn't really justify the expense of bringing John Duman back into the studio. And of course the new dialogue, minor as it might be, would still need to be tested. Caesar had one of the most complex dialogues in New Vegas, so it's something we really tried to avoid messing with once the game shipped. I know that might seem a little silly, but because recording expenses can be high and recording sessions typically happen late in development, it's often safer to err on the side of caution. J.E. Sawyer on technical limitations behind the decision to not provide definite resolution for Christina and Veronica.